Hey there, everybody. Welcome to our preview for The Blacklist Season 8, Episode 13. Simply entitled Anne, as of this recording, Anne does not have a blacklister number, which brings me a tiny bit of hope to just the pretend world where I'm living in, where she's, like, not connected to anything terrible. That is the land that I live in as well. I want her to just be Anne the Bird Watcher. Let's hope that in, like, a week from now, we're not on here, like, screaming our faces off or, like, crying with, like, supreme disappointment. I'm still worried about it, by the way. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of theories out there that Anne is a Liz plant, and, you know, we'll talk a bit about that. Yeah, we've got a number of interesting things to talk through about this episode, which I think looks kind of simple on paper, but usually when things look simple on paper in the world of the Blacklist, they just, like, blow out into, like, a thousand directions. Yeah. Before we get into it, though, if you guys enjoy this discussion, why, why not hit that subscribe button? Like, you know you really want to, right? <laughs> that is where we have reviews, previews, theories, all sorts of good stuff. Just just do it. Come on, just do it. All right. All right. Well, while you're doing that, you should also head over to our Instagram <laughs> and hit the follow button over there. It is Matt and Jess TV. <laughs> See, yeah, I'm going for a different sort of sell today. Yeah, this is you the, uh, you know, just... It's good, it's good. I, I'm appealing to your hearts. But also, we have <laughs> talked recently, earlier this week, about episode 14, which, you know, I, I guess it has been confirmed, confirmed, but we, we're, we're feeling pretty good that that is going to be when Liz returns, so you can sort of head over there and check that out as well. But not, not until you check out this video, because we're talking Anne here. All right, so we've all seen the preview. Anne is in the preview. It looks like maybe Reddington's gone to see her, and that has brought out Neville, who has shown up, and there's all sorts of nonsense that's going on. So here's where we kind of land, because okay. there is a bunch of different ways this can go. Like I said earlier, there's been long the theory that Anne is a Liz plant, that she is there to get close to Reddington and then sort of feed information back to Liz, which would then kind of, in some ways, if she can really get in with Reddington, start to feed information back to Liz. However, it seems like Liz already knows everything. And then we're in this sort of situation where if Anne is under attack and Reddington is there, then this type of a situation is going to bring them even closer together because that's how it works with these types of like scary, stressful situations where it brings people closer together. So if she is a Liz plant, then maybe this whole thing was sort of put together to make that happen, make that bond even stronger. I, I, there's some substance to this theory. I think, obviously, it's the sort of thing the Blacklist loves to do, where nobody can ever just be normal. They all gotta either be, like, a traitor or a secret operative or, like, some other nonsense. Like, okay, I'm just going to assume for a second here that Anne is a normal person. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go down this road just because... That's where we want to land. That's where we want to land. And Reddington, in Reddington's mind, he obviously <laughs> thinks that Anne is a normal person, or at least I think he thinks that he's a, he's a normal yeah, person. Yeah, and he's mentioned that he's so close to the end game now at this point that maybe he is starting to think that he can move towards this direction to have, like, kind of a normal life. That is the big sort of bugaboo I have right now with Reddington. It's like Dimbe already told him... No, 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 you can't go to the movie theater. Like, why has it changed now where Reddington is willing to, like, go on a cross-country trip in order to see her when he could easily be followed? Is this man feeling himself this much just because he punched his friend from the East in the face? It just might be the temptation of that normal life. We already saw him sort of dancing around that. Yeah, Dembe pulled him back in and was like, dude, no, like, you, you can't. You're, you're Raymond Reddington. You have other things going yeah. on. You're going to endanger her. Take a minute and think about this. And he probably did. And he sat back and was like, okay, I've thought about it. I'm not going to do this. Some time has passed. And, yeah. you know, he's probably still thinking about her, obviously. And maybe this time he doesn't tell Dembe <laughs> what he's thinking about and then just goes on an impulse. Impulses do happen. Like, I, I think even Reddington, someone who is as careful and planning as he is, like, he does have an emotional <laughs> side. We have seen that mm -hmm. before. And I do think we are going to get to see a number of just 
like delightful emotional scenes between Reddington and Anne. There's a lot of really nice photos out there. And yes. Of course, this is all the calm before the storm where, like, Neville and, like, I don't know what to call his, like, henchmen. Is this, like, Team Neville? They all show up and <laughs> they start causing, like, a lot of problems. We've already seen there's, like, a shootout. This reminds me of, like, that scene with Dom where they're having the shootout at Dom's place in the past. So here's a theory that we've seen in the comments yeah. multiple times from multiple people. That's why we're not just like, oh, so-and-so said this multiple yeah. times. So credit to all of you guys <laughs> who have brought up this idea. Okay. And it holds some water, and then it also sort of ties into this episode, which would then tie into sort of the Liz episode. That the idea is that Reddington and Liz are actually still working together, and that all of this including the Katarina shooting, which yeah. would have then been, she's a fake Katarina, because that's how Liz would probably be okay with working with this. Yeah. That all of this has been a ploy <laughs> to be able to pull out Neville and to bring him out to the forefront for Reddington and Task Force and whoever else needs to deal with him to actually deal with him. Because it's been going on for 30 years that maybe this whole thing is sort of a, if he's been after Ka the real Katarina all this time, that if they can draw him out, then the real Katarina can come out and not have to deal with any of this. This would explain why Liz knows everything. <laughs> like, yes, yeah. she has been sort of mentored by Reddington. She's been around for the past like seven, eight years, but Reddington has been Reddington for decades. So he's going to know more than Liz is going to know. And she has taken zero L's in this situation. <laughs> she has had everything perfect. So wouldn't it then make sense that Reddington's been feeding her information to make sure everything goes perfect? This way, Liz and Red <laughs> still love each other and are still working together. This is why this is why I understand why this theory I is out like there. I like this theory. Okay. I don't know if it's really See, real, but you know, it is today in my art. I don't want to be the one to destroy your heart. So then I see yourself. Okay, well, out. okay. This is the thing with this. I want I I know a lot of people out there have probably seen the movie The Prestige. And I really love this movie mm -hmm. and they I'm not going to spoil the movie even though it's like over a decade old, but there's a really huge twist in that and they play it off really really well. Like if they can play this twist off really well and I I've, I've said this a lot over the years too with like the who is Reddington theories. If they can make me buy into the twist, I will be all for it in the end. But this is going to be, they are going to have to shift into like some serious Saul Goodman territory with the amount of like selling they're going to have to do to make me believe in this. Because my first reaction, as much as I do want Liz and Red to be happy <laughs> together, working together again, I'm going to be kind of mad that I spent like the majority of this season thinking one thing. Oh, I agree, and it will sort of be the, for those of you who watched Mr. Robot and yeah. that whole season where basically the narrator was basically lying to everybody, <laughs> so there's spoilers for that. If you haven't seen that, you know what? It's years old. If you haven't yeah. seen it, you know, sorry. Eh. <laughs> uh, but, I mean, it could come along like that here as well, where it's like there's been all these episodes and we've been sort of getting a false narrative this whole time. Is the reveal then going to feel good and we're gonna be like yeah that's really satisfying we're gonna be like great you clowned us for episodes and episodes i don't feel that good yeah. about this yeah so what what's going on right so i mean it could go either way this would be the one time they pie me in the face and i don't think it's as funny because it's always funny every other time to get a pie in the face well all of you who came up with this theory that would then make sense for this an episode of maybe what the motivation is. I'm not saying that Red is purposely putting Anne in any kind of danger. I think he feels that if he came to her and it drew out Neville, that he would be able to protect her, that he would have protections in place. Reddington is not like this. He is not going to put her in danger. He's going to have her protected. But <laughs> if it pulls out Neville, I mean, Liz, from what we know... All, she, all we've seen is the Serenoid show up. We haven't actually seen Liz show up yet. Yeah. So maybe they're not actually face-to-face -face talking. The other thing with Liz, and this is sort of what I'm hoping for, is that 
maybe at some point between when we last saw her and when we saw her now, she's st starting to figure some things out. Like, maybe she's realized that Reddington wasn't lying as much as she thought. Because there is that theory of, okay, that this has all been a long game. But I think it's also certainly possible somewhere, somehow, she realizes, oh, that wasn't the real Katarina. Or, oh, maybe Reddington has a real reason for things. Because I want to believe that they're going to come back together soon. Maybe they do come back together, whether it's in this moment, so shortly afterwards. They take out Neville, this bizarre, bizarre human being themselves. Yeah, because here's the thing. I know that not everybody likes Liz and that the FBI team has been kind of bumbling around yeah. all season and they haven't sort of been looking their brightest here, okay? <laughs> yes. And sometimes that's been happening with Liz a little bit as well, and that's why all of a sudden it's like, oh, now she's a mastermind. What is going yeah. on? This all doesn't thread together, you know, right. It, she is still an FBI agent, and she still is sort of trained to think outside the box. So it is more than possible that in her time on her own and alone, she has figured some stuff out. Yeah, I think she's capable of that. And Yeah, she is. There's one more Liz-related thought that I, I sort of have here, so I'll take you through what my thought process was on this. Take us. We're hitting all the right, curve. All right, here we okay. go. <laughs> okay, we have swerved over here. We're in the Liz lane now. So <laughs> I thought for a little bit, I was like, well... Maybe Anne is a Liz plant, but then I was sort of like, okay, then, well, why would Liz be, like, deliberately putting Anne in a position where she could be gunned down, kind of like Reddington, potentially, if he knew something, putting Anne in a position? But then I remembered, Liz put two airplanes of people in danger. I do not think yep. she would mind putting Anne in danger either. No, she also put her Serenoid in danger when Reddington, she thought Reddington may actually kill her. So, I mean... Whatever is going on here, uh, if this is the road that we're on, yeah. Liz is being very reckless. John Bokenkamp, John Eisendrath, I, I know you guys are watching this video. You're 12 minutes are in. You? So I'm just going to project the final message out to you. Don't make Anne a traitor. It's too obvious. We've gone down this road too many times. Maybe she is Reddington's endgame at the end of this series. Maybe not. Maybe they just go and have some more what chocolate or whatever it was earlier this season again. Well, that's fine, too. It doesn't have to be romantic. It can just be friendship. I mean, Reddington and Dembe's friendship is something yeah. that like I live for with this show. Why not have him have some other friends that just aren't involved in this part of his life that once he sort of is able to be like, okay, I've tied up this part of my life. I am able to move forward, which is still a weird thing to say because yeah. even when he ties up this 30-year project, he has so many other hanging <laughs> fruit out there. Yes. That I don't know how he ever moves in that. But let's just say for the sake of this yeah. argument that that's the deal. Can't it just be that this is the end game where there's just a bit of normalcy for him where he's like, hey, I just want to call up and go see a movie or have some chocolate yeah. or whatever and just have a normal moment. That is what I'm most excited about. We've seen shootouts on this show countless times. It is yeah. that idea, that illusion really of Reddington and Anne having some time <laughs> to just be normal people. I'm excited to see what this looks like. I think James is going to do a really good job with it. I, I'm excited, but we got to hear from you guys. Of course, are you guys excited for the Anne episode? Give us all your theories. Do you think Anne is a plant? Do you think that Reddington and Liz have been secretly working together this whole time? It would kind of make sense, especially if episode 14 is going to be sort of the Let's pull the curtain back on everything that Liz was doing. That's what the synopsis says. So if that's the case, big reveal. <laughs> Let right? us know if you think the big reveal is coming oh. here. We will see. And if you guys do like this video, remember that subscribe button. It's still there. You guys <laughs> can still hit it. And also uh, give us a like and you can support us more. We have links in the description to the store, our Patreon. <laughs> we'll see you here next time.